power of one. one. The power of two. two. The power of many. The power of one. The power of two. The power of many. Doesn't make any sense. Make it stop. Will you accompany me to the dance on Sunday? Of course! Really? No. Okay. These are Acolyte fans on Twitter. In a nutshell. This. No bit. They feel like winners. They think they're top shit and everything. And they're fucking last. <laughs> Even the holiday special's up there. <laughs> I saw that, and it's so true, the way how most of these fans are behaving on Twitter. Top tier, yeah, it's the top tier meme. I've I never seen a show, like, that's so shit. That's been defending, being defended so hard. Again, nothing against the, you know... The everyday person that might actually like it, because I actually, someone at work actually don't mind it, but when I bring up the dumb stuff that happens, they actually agree. They go, okay, that's, yeah, that's really dumb. And there was another person who, who has, have not great standards. Oh, he always likes everything. But he hates the acolyte. <laughs> I think killing Carrion Moss was definitely a big red flag to him, because, yeah, he's, he, again, he's... He's one of those uh, older Star Wars fans that did grow up with uh, the films. He like he saw it when he was a kid in the theater. And to top it all off, he's gay. <laughs> and this is supposed to be the gay Star Wars. I want to ask you both because this is, I would say, arguably the gayest Star Wars. I think by a considerable <laughs> margin. And I, I can smell the failure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, your China owns Disney. Oh my god. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard about all that. It's like. Besides all that nonsense, it's just. The Acolyte's just a shit show. I mean, before we, we start playing the game, we can check out some of the defenses I've been looking. Because I, I normally get some of these so I can talk to Josh about it for our weekly uh, discussion of Acolyte. Oh, I, 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 um, I don't know. Like, like when it came to the end, right, they all turn around, they light the sabers and all that, and it's just like, oh, let's I've, see how this choreography I, I, fight, I, fight goes. Yeah, yeah, because apparently it's supposed, to top, it's supposed to top uh, the Darth Maul fight. Yeah, I, I just want to see this. I'm just like, okay, look, I understand one of them is like an apprentice that's among them. Yeah. But the other fucking, like, there's like six Jedi there or something. Yeah, some about shit. six or seven, yeah. Yeah. So one of them is Apprentice. I understand. Wouldn't be as, like, um, experience. I get that. I get that. Yeah. But her against seven fucking masters? But you see. I don't, I, I don't see how that is possible. But you oh, see her force, force push everyone, like Force Unleashed right, no. type of thing. How no, 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 crazy no, 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 is that? No, 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 no. No, no, she pulled the string from out from under them. Oh, yeah, yeah, she pulled the fucking thread, you know? Yeah. The, pow the power of gay. If she pulled the thread and everyone <laughs> tripped. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I really hate those. There we go. Yep, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it was so boring. It turns out it was supposed to be one long episode, and they cut it in half, so the boring episode was that. But I was telling Josh in the podcast, going, oh, it'd be funny, all the Jedi killed, we don't even get to see the fight, like the Wookiee one. He goes, nah, they can't do that. I go, dude, after putting Kiadi Mundi and <laughs> killing the Wookiee off screen, would not be surprised. This this show is so abysmal, any can, any, anything could fucking happen. They kill all the Jedi. <laughs> yeah, it's just so standing, he's going, what are you? See, I, it's, oh my god. Again, like, um, and then all this discourse of the acolyte. I don't know. For me, I feel like, oh, I gotta... Because I, I was gonna leave Star Wars. Like, I'm like I'm not gonna watch any of the new shit after this, because this is fucking ridiculous. 
Like, or the discourse with both sides of the fandom. It's just fucking insane. Star Wars is for everyone. For everyone. For everyone. For everyone. For everyone. Star Wars is for everyone. Regardless of race. Regardless of religion. Regardless of gender. Or I Are you sure about that? Like, sorry if I'm swearing, but it's just so irritating that, you know, five viewers. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate the five viewers. But it's like, it, I, because I, I dubbed the, the fan wars. That's what it is. It's the fan wars in Twitter. It's backwards and forwards, name calling, and it's ridiculous. And then you got the reaction channels dying on that hill defending this show. I don't know if you've seen Grace Randolph's video, but the... Uh, and no matter how you feel about the Acolyte, I would think, I would hope, that we can all agree that at the very least, that the last few minutes of this episode are really frickin' cool. Like when that Sith Master floats down in the trees behind Osha. I mean, it was just incredible when I saw that for the first time. I shouted at my TV like, oh shit. It was just so cool. What in the ass? Tell him to suck a lemon. And one one phrase I would say, and Josh will know what I'm talking about. I'm the Mary Poppins, Sith. yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's, thinking the Sith has been extinct for a more than a millennia. It, no, 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 it, no. The end when the, the fact that the Sith can fly, he just flopped down like Mary Poppins. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Stupid. The fact that she said that, what, the Sith floating down like Mary Poppins say it's so cool. Like, she get, she says, you gotta admit, it's really cool when it's not cool. <laughs> I was just pissing myself laughing. I didn't comment on her video for it. Like, in a nice way possible, not, like, very rude. I just said, I just told her it was funny. Sometimes, like, people don't want to have fun. They want to be right. Yeah, because I said my piece about the Acolyte, and I think now I'm just having... I'm just laughing the fact that this show has been made. <laughs> $180 million budget. And the reason why uh, the Wookiee Jedi got killed off screen because they ran out of budget. <laughs> it's almost like the studio couldn't afford... Ran out of budget. A show that that is almost what the budget's almost as big as uh, House of the Dragon. <laughs> yep, sounds like Hollywood versus the world. Yeah, I know. Okay, if anyone sees the and Ad Ad Amanda Stenberg video, have you guys seen that? I'm not gonna show it to you because it turns out recently, uh, she's, obviously she has a team that's copyright claiming her diss track when people react to it. She wants people to, yeah, sorry. She wants people to, you know, of, not give her feedback, but co sort of respond. But then we get copyright claim for it. No, you have not. Of oh, her actions are tough. So I, it's not even. It's it's weird. She brings up race into it, and she brings about her um interview with uh Trevor Noah, because because of something she said when she was oh, was a younger. Where I'll oh, make white people cry or some nonsense like that, and I'm going, what the blooming hell? We actually, we'll show you the. We'll sh we won't play the music, but I think we can at least show you the footage. I think that will be fine. No, she released it in June teeth, which I don't know what that is. I'm Australian, so I, I wouldn't know or nor give a fuck about it. <laughs> if you guys know what that is, uh, just let me know. Like, uh, like. Yeah, so that that's that's the video. So I'm sorry, if you wanna get your message out there, uh shaking your crotch in front of the camera is not going to help. Everyone's just gonna make fun of you for it. Uh, her actions, uh, yep. Oh my god, I think she is the first black woman in the, in a movie, right? No, she she's not even, she's half black. And she's half Danish. 
But she doesn't acknowledge her her white uh, history. Just her black history. Why, you, you embarrassed to be half white? Come on. Like, you gotta, you gotta embrace who you are. But yeah, that's like... It's very cringe. And yeah, she's trying to give a message, but it's... Uh, the only people who are proving this are other actors, journalists, activists. Some some ladies who are really into it going, oh, slay, queen, slay, because... Youth. Yes, yes. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I have met some girls who feel like, oh, when you dance like that, it feels like you're free. It's like freedom, you know? It's like, like, apparently this is like, you feel like a free woman when you do it. It's so shit. It's so cringe. Like, I wish I was joking. There's some ladies who think this is like being free. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever flo Whatever makes you happy, I guess. If it makes your life happy, fine. But don't come crying when people start giving you shit. If, for any reason, the winner is unsuccessful, some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Are you excited no. about that? Are you Not bracing yourself? Not the game of Star Wars. Not the <laughs> <laughs> Failure!